so we got a little bit of a mess out here but the good news is is Duramax since we're partnered with them they sent us one of their uh, 3100 psi pressure washer so we're gonna be knocking down all this old nasty grime and they also sent us one of their their portable run quiet generators their sidekicks and actually Lonnie works on uh, as a roofer and his boss has one of these generators and loves it so we can't wait that's gonna be running our heater or air conditioner at night so we don't have to hear the loud generator and then they sent us their big daddy XP 1200 EX or EH this will run off propane or gas and a 12,000 watt generator so that's going to run our bus during the day and when we're at our meetup it'll run stuff there's a Coleman grill in here we'll probably keep this around but we don't know what we're not putting a kitchen like a uh, kitchen cook area in here just like a sink and a refrigerator there's a bunch of it looks like almost scrap pieces of plywood and a few two by fours we'll set aside there's a composting toilet that we think we are going to use uh, which kind of sucks dumping your poo but i don't know how much room we're going to have for a black water tank it just depends once we rip out this floor completely hey, we can see how much room on the frame we have for a fresh water and a gray water tank and then if we have enough we will do a black water tank and then do an actual toilet but it just depends on how much room we have on the frame uh to work with that type of stuff but we got most of the floor we're going to go buy one of the big scrapers for taking floors out it's just taking too long uh, but we got a good 50 percent Hey, quick note, follow us on social media for the most up-to-date and behind-the-scenes. subfloor under the plywood so we're ripping this old rotted junk out and the uh, all the screws are stripped so now we're gonna do is get this wood out we're gonna sand the floor with a wire brush on a grinder get all the paint off and all the old rust and then we're gonna coat it with either epoxy or bed liner in a five gallon bucket just roll it out on it to protect it and then put plywood back down and whatever Becca decides to do for flooring but while we got the floor out, we can go ahead and cut holes for our electrical stuff because it's going to be external conduit running everywhere, everywhere as we need. There are not going to be much plugs, but by basically hammering this big pry bar under the plywood, I'm just ripping it up. And it sucks.
All right, so the bus is uh, slowly getting stripped down. We've only been working on this thing just every few days. Uh, we actually pumped all the old gas out of it, and uh, we're doing a tune-up now with the distributor cap. Rotor button, spark plug, and spark plug wires, and I do have to get a new uh, air filter for it. But other than that, the oil's changed. I think we have a power steering leak down there. We're going to start replacing those hoses. Uh, we're not leaving this 351 Windsor in there too long because we're putting a uh, 12, uh, 12 valve Cummins in it and a new transmission. So this is going on another project that's going to be on the channel, but we still want to tune it up while we got it in the van. If you come in the side door, you can see the last piece we have is the plywood right here. We need to take this trim out, probably pull up the seat to make it easier, and then rip this plywood out. Then we can start sanding down that floor, coating it really good, and finding out our plumbing and electrical. That will be the next thing. I know I'll be de deleting the window right there, uh, the middle window, and that side window. We'll be getting rid of that. We're going to leave um, probably all these windows. We're not sure yet. We just have to find out our exact layout. But we do believe we're going to go with the two bunk beds down there, kitchenette section right here. A uh, you know we're going to build our own futon. And then of course the bathroom and shower back there on the side we're going to be wrapping this with a redbeard's garage go power sports and duramax wrap uh, but i need to find out the best way to get all this off i don't want to use any paint stripper because i don't want to pin, uh, strip the old yellow paint so that's going to be a doozy I'm trying to figure out that i don't know what they if they painted it with a rattle can or what but this whole entire bus will be getting wrapped other than the roof the roof is the only thing they're not going to wrap because it'd be a waste it'll be wrapped uh over that bend but the center of the roof's not going to be wrapped it'd be a waste of money so we need to figure out that we do need new tires these tires are dry rotted um and that's about a hundred dollars a tire for just a decent brand and in the back so in the back of the van we still have the dog house and uh the small generator we put the big generator under the house until we start building the back porch on this bus uh, but offroadleddbars.com has sent us a bunch of lights for this. We got some, I think these are five inch pods. We're going to do two five inch pods on each side of the bus pointing out so we can light up pretty much completely around it. We have two 50 inch bars right here. One's going to go on the front of the bus and one's going to go on the rear. We also have a whole set of rock lights down there. We have an eight piece set. So the whole underneath of the van will glow whatever color. It's going to be the party bus. So make sure to go check out offroadledbars.com and use the discount code RBG10 to get 10% off your order. They are great LED bars. We've been using them on a bunch of our projects and we love them. They seem to be way better quality than ones we've used in the past. On the next episode, we're going to take this thing for a ride down the road to get some gas, see how it runs, and uh, we'll probably start... We need to start getting all of our materials like all of our outlets and wiring and our breaker box and everything and start wiring up everything that we need because uh, the way the refrigerator is going to work when the bus is running it's going to run off an inverter um, and then when we get there you basically you got a selector switch that tells the refrigerator to run either off the inverter set up off the engine of the van or off the generator setup so if we put food in there before we leave the house we can keep it cold uh, where we're going and just run the generators at night to keep all the stuff going so big shout out to duramax for sponsoring this uh this build they sent the pressure washer out we got this thing pretty clean it's dirty now because that was filmed actually a few weeks ago and uh the generator we got that 12,000 uh dual fuel generator and also the small run quiet as i stated before the run quiet will be ran at night when we're sleeping just to run our ac and stuff and then the big generator will be run during the day to run all of our accessories and our meetups that'll be really handy and uh, offroadledbars.com, discount code RBG10. You can use that and uh, get 10% off your order. And also on generatorfactoryoutlet.com, on any Duramax product, you can get 20% uh, off using discount code RBG. So, and that's only good till May 31st. So go use that discount code, buy you a big 440 big block or a generator, and uh, support, uh, you know, help support the channel because that does help us out and show that our videos are working. But, uh, and, Last but not least, Go Power Sports. Thank you so much for supporting this build. They're going to be helping uh, do the wrap on this bus because that is going to be extremely expensive and it's a lot better than paint because uh, later on down the road, if we want to change it up, we can. And uh, that wrap's going to look awesome, have our logos all over it. So, yeah, let us know what you think of the build in the comment section below. We've been doing this kind of as a family project, working on it on weekends and stuff, but we got to get in full bore because we got to get it at least able to sleep in it by the Windrock Meetup, we're hoping. 
so uh we gotta get to it thank you guys so much for watching uh don't forget about our wind rock rock meetup you can check out the links in the description below for everything we've used on this bus and details about the wind rock meetup so uh thank you guys so much we love you and god bless